eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. New pulse pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Plus 43 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and is currently throttling down to prepare for max Q at around the T plus 1 minute and 12 second mark. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon, Falcon 9 is supersonic. Q. And we've just passed Max Q. That is a really cool tracking shot of Falcon 9. All is looking good with the Stage 1 trajectory. Uh, in about a minute, we have three events coming up in quick succession. First up is main engine cutoff. That's where the nine engines on the first stage will shut off, followed by stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate from one another. Uh, shortly after that, we'll have a second engine start one. The Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite its engine and continue its journey into orbit. And vac engine chill has begun. about 20 seconds away from main engine cutoff, the start of those three events happening in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Coming up in a few seconds, we should have the fairing deploy. In back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see the two fairing halves have separated and fallen away from the vehicle, exposing the 143 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. And as a reminder, our recovery vessel, Miss Chief, will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today from the water. We're at T plus three minutes and 30 seconds into flight. We have a couple of views on screen right now. Uh, on the right hand, uh, right hand side is a view of the second stage, specifically the uh, MVAC engine. It's currently in the first of its two MVAC burns. This burn should last for about another five minutes or so. And on the left hand side of the screen is a view from the top of our first stage looking down. The next milestone for the first stage will be its, its re-entry burn. Uh, Falcon 9 needs to execute an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense parts of the atmosphere. Uh, without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow Falcon 9 down will put an unnecessary strain on the rocket. And that entry burn is coming up at around the T plus 7 minute and 47 minute mark, just a few minutes from now.
For those just joining us, this is the Transporter One mission for SpaceX, uh, the first dedicated small sat rideshare program mission, and it's also the third mission of 2021. We're just waiting on the next major event for this mission, which is the first stage entry burn that's going to be happening around the T plus seven minute and 47 mark. You can see some periodic bursts of gas from the first stage. That is nitrogen from our attitude, attitude control systems. They help to orient the first stage as it continues to make its descent back towards Earth. And as, as we get closer to uh, the Earth, you'll start to notice those honeycomb-like structures on the left-hand side of your screen start to move and pivot. Those are, are, are our hypersonic grid fins, and those help to steer the first stage back um, as it uh, returns back to Earth. As for the second stage, impact performance looks nominal. Just a few seconds after we finish the stage one entry burn, we'll be shutting off the second stage Merlin vacuum engine and enter a small coast phase. Again, we'll need to relight this engine later on in the mission to get to our eventual destination in orbit. Stage one FTS is saved. We are about 45 seconds away from that stage one entry burn. Uh, for the entry burn, it is a three engine burn. So three of the nine Merlin engines on the first stage will relight and start to slow the stage down before it hits the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the entry burn. Three of the nine Merlin engines have relit. This burn is expected to last for about 30 seconds. Second stage in terminal guidance. Stage one entry burn shut down. FDS is saved. There's the second stage. Also signal stage one cape expected. The second stage has shut down its engine. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be attempting to recover the booster for a fifth time no, no parking orbit on, our, on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Uh, the first stage has one more burn left, the landing burn, and it, it begins just before we touch down and provides the booster with a soft descent before we land. That stage should be starting up burn. anytime now. And we did get confirmation of the second stage that it did reach a good parking orbit. Stage one landing leg deploy. LOS stage two, Cape Canaveral expected. And Falcon 9 returns safely once again. That is the fifth time for this particular booster and the 73rd recovery of an orbital class rocket. 
A great way to start off the mission and a great way to start off the Sunday. We're now going to coast for the next 45 minutes or so while we wait for SES2 or second engine start number two. We're going to leave you with an animation that shows you where we're at in the coast phase, and we'll see you back here at the T plus 54 minute mark. Got the sun beaming into our camera view there. Payload deploy confirmed. What you are seeing live are those Starlink satellites in space drifting away from our second stage, which confirms deployment. Shortly they will deploy their solar array and over the next few days and weeks they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. Beautiful live view. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers, as well as all of those in the US, Canada, and the UK who ordered Starlink under our public beta program. If you're interested in being a part of our beta program, head over to starlink.com and sign up. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.